All right, what's up everybody? Here we are again with another episode of Seven Days to Die. So I just picked up a, another tier five mission, of course. <clears throat> and it's at a place called the Mortician's House. Probably have enough ammo, except I don't. I need to grab some shotgun ammo. <laughs> Going through 2-bit tower really kind of took most of that up. <clears throat> we got about a minute and 19 seconds before our sprained leg bone thing is finished. We're going to grab some food as well. Let's eat that. We'll take the spaghetti and we'll take the uh, pure mineral water. Let's grab some shotgun ammo. And I think we'll have to probably make some uh, lockpicks after we come back. <clears throat> Definitely something we need to do. So then it's going to be an infested clear. Because I always prioritize those above everything else. Significantly because of the XP we gain from the job itself and from the reward of the job and because the rewards are just better. And so, with that being said, we can easily just you know, do the infested clears as long as I don't get screwed over. <laughs> and we can just simply hopefully simply complete them. But it'll be a tier 4 area, so it's most likely going to have a lot of um, radiated zombies. Cool, now we can speed this up a little. Look at that guy. Hi, buddy. How are you? It's also nighttime, so they're going to be running, which I need to be careful of. And it looks like that greenhouse is the mortician's house. Alright. I have rode through here before, but I never actually went through it. I'm going to assume we have to climb. Whoa. Assuming we need to be up here. Alright, I guess we're climbing up even higher. Make sure all the rest of these are uploaded. Look at that guy! He just disappeared. There he is. Huh. He's really struggling right there. Oh, that means I hit it, because it's aggroed on me. And down she goes. Just not fully. Oh well. We'll leave that be. <clears throat> Assuming, I guess, we have to work our way down. Sit down, buddy old pal.
That guy struggled to get out for a little bit, huh? Journal. <laughs> Nothing like that. Definitely love getting medical journals. Because soon we'll be able to craft our. Why? Okay, what is up with weapons being in toilets? Ooh, get out of here. That's really what this is going to be. That's weird. It looked like a double-sided mirror for a moment. It's probably just a mirror, I would assume. I was about to say, that's suspicious. Okay. We're going downstairs now. Okay, so there's definitely two back there. Please, thank you. Head to the for the head and wiring 101. Nice. Dang, I can't search the coffin. That's sad. Stiff crate up there. <clears throat> Yay, you're gonna casket to search. Ooh, the acid is nice. Not really, I don't really care about the dive. There's so many of them. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. It's it's kind of weird. gonna say it because I feel like if I do I'm going to jinx myself. Holy shiitake mushrooms. There's one. Oh! 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay then. That was a lot of explosion. But it said we completed it, so that was a pretty nice and easy uh, little mission. Ooh, two forged headbooks, a level five pistol. Okay, I don't really need the one steel part. Um, because I don't really need the robotics parts either. Um, delete this. Lots and lots of books. I'm sure, I didn't miss anything in here. I'm assuming this is going to lead us to the way out. Yep, indeed it is. Just trying to get fight season, thank you. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I'm gonna do something as an executive decision since I've maxed out strength. There we go. Back is a good thing to have points into anyway. We'll go back, we'll turn this in, we'll put all our stuff away, and we'll grab another one. I'm not sure if there is another infested clear, so depending on that, we might not end up uh, doing anything. stuff away. Dang, I have ran out of weapon box. Oh, let's see here. I have nails. I have wood. Seven more. Okay, mods. Ammo.
check. Let's go claim our reward for completing this mission. And it's funny, because I thought that mission would be a lot harder. Okay, no, I don't want to pick that up. I thought it would be a lot harder due to the fact that usually tier 5s have like five radiated zombies, and that one only had one. So I'm not really sure what was going on there, but I thought there would be a lot more radiated zombies. There just weren't. Don't spend it all in one place. A robotic you, drone. Make sure it's here. I don't feel like I want that. The impact driver, however, I definitely want that. Um, yeah, no, there's not really any other good ones. A fetch and clear is actually going to be a tier five building, which is bad. Those usually take around like thirty minutes to try and get through. Um, let's see what books she got. We'll buy all of them. At this point, I might as well buy these two. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're about to get a mini bike. Our bicycle has served us long enough. It is time to make a mini bike. Okay, so we have the mini bike chassis, we have a battery, we have necessary wheels. Okay, we need the mini bike handlebars. Which I think we have everything for. We have the mechanical parts, the electrical parts, the springs, the pipes. And we got the headlights as well. Okay, wheels. We need an engine. So light car battery engine, handlebars, mini bike, okay. Yeah. We need an engine. We need this. We need this. We need two of those. We need what's going to be in there. And then we have to take our impact drill here and go dismantle some vehicles so that we can get us a mini bike so we can get an engine for a mini bike we got 12 seconds until our other thing kind of wears off engine. And again, no engine. Oh, there's a freaking dog there. What the frick? Sorry, Mr. Doggo, I ain't got time for you. Still no engine, that's rough. Hmm. 
There's a cop car. This could be good. Still no engine. Just need an engine. Oh, wow. Look at there. I don't know why the engine of the car was in the car, but. So be it. I got my engine. With this, we got ourselves a mini bike. We can also come up here with a spare engine. Go ahead and throw it in there. The reason I didn't take it from that in the first place is because like our traps literally need every single one of the edges that's in there right now, except for that fifth one that I just put in there. It's pretty important. Good thing, we can go use this uh, thing. We can go use the uh, mini bike right as soon as we get it. Which is pretty dang nice. Being able to use something right as we get it is pretty nice. Very far, is it? No, not really. I don't know exactly how far it is, but I guess we're gonna go find out. It's our new trusty handy dandy mini bike! It looks amazing. Refuel it. Yum. It's about 550 meters away from the base, so let's go grab this supply drop.
Got a Forge Ahead book. We got some mods? I thought that would be like a thing, or a chuck of bundle. Alright, we got a few books. Some water. Alright, everybody, if you've enjoyed, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Go check out uh, all of my, you know, other, all of my other episodes of Seven Days to Die. Go check out our Terraria series. I filmed that with my friend Dom. You should go check him out as well. And hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I upload. And I shall see y'all next time. Peace.